going on YouTube? It's your boy Vince, and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're going to react to the Visiting the Poorest Country in America by Tommy G. Now, let me tell you something about poorest, poorest in quotations. They be saying they poor, but nine times out of ten, it just be an excuse to be dirty. It just be an excuse to be dirty, bro. I'm not going to lie, they city just be dirty to me. It don't even look poor, just be dirty. So we're going to see what this city looks like, so let's go and let's go. How much do you survive? I mean country. I can make it off a hundred dollars a month. How easy is it to buy meth here? <laughs> Which direction you want to go? Oh, oh man! <laughs> what do you fellas think about white privilege? Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. Welcome too? to Kentucky. What did I say? I said it's an excuse to be dirty. I don't care. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Would that pet I go too far back? That's where I lived at right there. Like I said, like I said, I don't care how broke I am. I do not have to live with garbage on the floor. I can live in the cleanest broke house ever like this is ignorant and dirty it's blatant trash on the floor trash bags like why you're dirty that's where i used to live he's proud of that well your face not blurred or anything now we know you're dirty let me not come shake your hand like man i don't know that's just dirty to me bro oh bro this is the best oh it's a bandit don't offer nothing here She's just like banging around up there. Nah, somebody lit here. The United States has long been known as one of the world's financial superpowers. But here, in 2023, a lot of Americans are struggling. 61% of the country is living paycheck to paycheck, leaving many to question if the American dream still exists. How many Americans have been feeling is encapsulated in the number one song in the country, The Rich Men of North Richmond. Mm. All day, overtime hours. Bullshit pay. Today, Trash. we headed to Forest oh. County, America, McCreary County. Went to McCreary County, where leaders say they're down thousands of dollars. How? To see what life is like and how people are living. This is a place with extreme poverty, That's high disgusting. and many people struggling to survive as prices continue to rise. First, we touch down with local resident Landon, who greets us bearing arms. <laughs> I actually not thinking about the country is just dirty. The channel is to explore and get the stories of people from every walk of life. We're here in one of the poorest counties in America. According to USA Today, the poorest in America, poorest in Kentucky. We want to see how people live. The purpose of this channel is to platform people's stories that maybe don't get to tell it too much. So That's a good message, to Tommy. Hood or underground Las Vegas or to the poorest county in America. We want to speak to people, see what they have to say. First stop, meeting with our contact. Land. This is the area that showing up to the wrong door can get someone shot. Good to meet you, man. How, How you man? doing? I'm doing all right. Where are we right now? Middle of nowhere. The oh, that's the, that's the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I thought you were handing me a pair, a pair of jeans. Well, you can wear the jeans too. Is it known in the town, like the reputation of being the poorest county in America? Everybody knows we're poor. I don't know if like everybody knows where the top, but I've heard people talk about being the top poorest. What goes to your mind when you hear that? Oh, well, I don't really care. I mean, it is what it is. He dirty. I don't live here my whole life like these fucks, so it ain't my problem. What do you do by day? Well, I'm working at Walmart until I go back to college. Okay. But other than that, not much. What's minimum wage around here? Seven twenty-five. Oh, Dang. Twenty-five. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be working there, no sir. Seven twenty-five. Minimum wage is fifteen dollars where I'm at. You need to get up out of there. I make like 14 just going to Walmart. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's like about right. What's some lingo in the area? You ain't lying. Man after sentence is big too. Come on, man. Like that. Like, man, come on. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Should we go shooting? Yeah, we're gonna go shoot. Hold on, you wanna talk to the dude I'm filming the YouTube video with? He's in that. What's up, brother? We're just about to shoot and then I think we're coming by. How far are you from the shooting range? Backyard. Should we just go to his backyard then? We can. You want us just to come to your backyard right now? That's what I'm Let's do it. Shooting range in his backyard is crazy. Why do they just have guns out here? Oh, 
Tommy. I'm Tommy. I'm Kenny. We're promoting Twisted Tees. <laughs> oh, yeah, drinking's big around here, too. Yeah. That's why they broke. They spend all their money on alcohol and beer. That's why y'all poor. Like, spend your money on something, right? Look at these guns. Why you got guns for it? Like, they spend their money on guns. It's not safe. Sometimes you need them, but. Like, for protection, I get that part. But, like, they out here for sport. Damn, boy. What do you guys think about white privilege? There are some people that say like, oh, if you're white, life is just easy no matter what, basically. I will say it is a little easier. Cops and shit, it's probably oh. easier. What's the most common Okay, around? so they're not racist. Oh, man, man. What happens at a sawmill? Lumber, yeah. Cutting lumber. Is it easy to get a job around here? It's fairly easy as long as, you know, like you show up to work every day and you're, you know, you nah. dress like you're somebody. No, I don't care how poor you are. I don't care how poor. Maybe I'm being insensitive, bro, because I'm not from that life. But this is dirty. It's just trash everywhere. Maybe like I don't know if like the, I guess the garbage people don't come and pick it up. Like like you don't they don't put in their trash cans and the garbage people come and get it. They probably gotta burn their garbage or something. I don't know how it works or if it just flies over here because they're in the middle of nowhere. But this house is dirty, bro. I can see inside. It looks dirty. This baby got on no shoes, bro. She should have on Crocs like this lady. As long as you know, like you show up to work every day and you're, you know, you dress like you're somebody. You gotta know people down here to get a job. I just tell you, if you don't know nobody you and you know move down here, it would be tougher on you. Especially compared to city people, it's I understand like that you're though. Self sufficient. If shit goes down, people know how to fend for themselves around here. Yeah, they here. do. They really do. Would you say you feel proud to be an American? Yeah, I'm proud to be an American. What do people need to survive around here? Like, how much money to survive a month? Say you about $2,000. Yep. So, 2, what can you help people that are living paycheck to paycheck bigger paycheck do you think people can live off of 725 an hour hell no hell no what does rent go for around here 350 to 400 dollars a month That's mm. and what's rich on to top you? of other Man, stuff i don't care about being wealthy or rich before i die you know what i mean as long as you had fun as long as i you know i got my friends i got this my Shit. All right. That'd Are you bad. proud of being American? Yeah, man. And do you feel like this country's going in a good direction? Yeah, it seems pretty fair to me. Maybe besides all the China bullshit, everything you buy has got a part that come from China or Japan. So if you were mayor of the well, town, what does that mean? Make things better. Jobs would help. Getting the people that's slinging meth and slinging heroin and shit like that, they need to be shot and by this day. What do you want us to do? You want to go drifting? Yeah, I'm going to I sympathize right. with them though. I sympathize. Cause no one's got to live like that. You're like a NASCAR guy. How is he doing this in this Toyota? I thought it was just a Chevy. He's like a daisy driver. How is he doing that? It's a little frightening, but it's good. That was an A plus drift right there. Was that a Malibu? How did he do that? Now what we're looking to explore is how the rising prices of groceries have impacted people in their daily life. A lot of Americans have been talking about food prices raising all around the country. Has that impacted you and your family? Yes, a tell, lot. Tell me about it. It makes it harder for the working people. So 60% of Americans are paycheck to paycheck. Yes. Do you think that hits a lot of people in this town? Yes. We don't I'm get not gonna lie. Entry. If minimum wage is $7 around here, then the food needs to be adjusted to that price. It needs to be adjusted to that price. If 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 our minimum wage is fifteen dollars and cereal is six dollars a box, they cereal needs to be at least three dollars a box, two 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 dollars max. And I'm talking about the family size. Anything like that, you know, most of us have to take on second jobs because everything's just so expensive. What items have gone up the most that you've noticed? Everything that's healthy. <laughs> what does it cost to feed your family a month? We have a family of five uh -huh. and at least around 1200 just for groceries. That sounds about right. For the whole month. This is one of the primary places that people it's come seven to of get us. supplies. Yep, this Kroger and Earl Anderson's. So what's gone up the most that you've noticed? Meat, more than anything. So 419 a pound. Even just three years ago, at Aldi I could get beef for 199 This is Dang. five pounds of ham. Yeah, and this is not even fully ham. This is fat and all kinds of other stuff put in there. So this is like bullshit of ham. For 16, 16 bucks. bucks. Oh yeah, government finessing.
Next, Landon takes us to his friend Logan's house. So what's life like around here? Oh man, it's awesome. I mean, there's not shit around here. You can do what you want, you know what I mean? Like, we raise hell on the road, you know, as long as you're not fucking hurting nobody. A lot of people like to keep like a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. here it's like, people can have like 15 cars in there yeah, long if they yeah. want to. Yeah, well, I mean, you can see me up there. I like, I collect cars. You wanna show us? Yeah, we just take around those, with this, with JDM cars, little Japanese cars. That's my old lady's car. That's why I went out wide. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a lot of opportunities for young people in this town? No. As far as school system, you know, they do have a lot of opportunities. You have like auto mechanics class, carpentry class. You can come out of there with certifications and stuff. So uh -huh. as far as for high school setting people up, yeah. As far as in the county, I feel like as a young person, if you're gonna have an opportunity, you gotta make it. You gotta be self-sufficient. If you see the people that are that are here that are rich and they've got all this stuff, you know, they're self-made. Everything they got, they worked for. That's kind of what it is. If the opportunity rises, isn't you that create. everywhere What's though? Rich to you. If you have something you work for, I know a lot of people they they got the silver spoon, but I feel like for the most part, if you have something you work for it. Well, if you're rich, you you got what you want, man. If your ideal goal is to be happy, have family, and go fishing every weekend, then you're rich. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whether you got a hundred thousand in your bank account or a million, you're rich if you if you're just happy. Rich is having the lifestyle you want. Yeah, mm. physically I'm rich. I've got I got stuff to fool with. I've got good people around me. You know, we go out in the middle of the woods going riding. We come here, we bullshit party, we fucking work on cars. When we fix the cars, we break them in a week. You know what I mean? So people That's in the hood okay say, well, we gotta get out of the hood. Do people have that mentality here? Or is it, hey, we wanna make this our home base and stay here and, and raise a family here? Well, obviously this is like a high poverty area, but it is a beautiful place and it's peaceful. People, I feel like, wanna retire here. And then you've got some kids that wanna stay here forever. You know, they don't wanna yeah. leave. And you've got some that wanna get out and come back, or you've got some that just wanna get out and never come back at all. If you guys wanna go back here, you can go look at that view yeah. off the back door. Okay, this house is actually kinda nice. <laughs> it wasn't that dirty. Oh, that's like a nice little cabin house, though, for real. They got land, for real. They got acres. What do you fellas think about white privilege? I call it a uh, financial privilege, uh, like depending on if you're uh, born in a different economic class. Because yeah, right so here, everybody's right here. equally poor. If we were to meet up and when I was old, you know, if I was like 50 years old, like, who's your dad? They base you off of who your parents were, you know? I don't know that white privilege is gonna necessarily get you something more here. I feel like a black man here would have just as much opportunity because there's just no opportunities, you know? Are we gonna talk about the social system though? The social injustice system? We're not gonna talk about that though. You telling me, you telling me a white cop, right? We both get pulled over for the same circumstances. You're not going to get better treatment than a black person if the cop is white. I'm not saying that's 100%, but six times out of 10, that's probably going to happen. Mm. It's called racial profiling. Flag since I've been here. But the financial thing, I guess I can kind of agree with in some scenarios. Yeah, from the locals that some of the people really struggling right now are people living at the motels, barely making ends meet. So we decided to go to a motel and get someone's story. Look so at that tell motel. Me a bit about yourself or your story. Well, I grew up here. Lived here most of my life. Met my wife in Tennessee. Got three beautiful daughters. It used to be a beautiful county, and now it's just not. I had to keep my kids at a friend's house last night because where we live, there's a crazy woman lives next door, and I have to go Monday and get her for trying to kidnap one of my daughters. What? I don't even think she really knew she did it. Is she not all there mentally, or what's going on? Pretty sure meth has took over this county. What oh percent my of the gosh. time would you guess does meth? Probably at least 80. Can you tell people more about like the housing opportunities in the area, or even job opportunities in the area? Well, there's not a whole lot of job opportunities. Like, me and my wife both have to work from home, because in order to even make good money in this community, I mean, that's pretty much what you have to do. If you don't work from home, you don't get paid very well. What kind of job from home do you got? My wife works for the Department of Defense. She does military insurance. She makes good money. I do tech support for Fairleigh Dickinson University. Mm. I love my job. If you get a job here, it's like at a gas station or something, or you've got people that just don't want to work anymore. Before I got this job, I worked at KFC. About every other person okay. that you would meet in this county. Tell me if I'm wrong or not. But he don't look like he hasn't had a shower in three days. Oh, what? Oh, what's the cigarette that's throwing me off that he's blowing it right in my face and it's making me mad? But he kind of looks dirty to me. He just looks dirty. I know it's a shower in there, bro. He needs to go get in the shower right now. Hair all sweat out. Like, he's, I'm thinking he in the sleep, like, he in the fields doing work, chopping them at woods up. Nah, he at home on a computer. He should not be like this dirty. It's probably unless you know, he was unless he was in the woods. I don't know. How easy is it to buy meth here? <laughs> Which direction you want to go? <laughs> it's, it's that easy. Me myself, I'm a recovering drug. So mm. I know exactly 
which direction to go. Yeah. And how much money do people need to get started with cement? Ten dollars? Really? Yeah. Dang. This has been called one of the poorest counties in America. Is that something that people in the town like they're aware of or they talk yes. about? Yes, they understand that it's the poorest county in America. They literally are just like, well, you know, it's the poorest county in America, so why even try? What do you think about white privilege? What do you mean? White privilege means you have an advantage in life and your life's a little bit easier if you're white. I feel that way too. You are a white man in America. You have your rights. Mm. And that's about it. There's a lot of tough living out Wait, here. Wait, what? A lot of really nice, kind, good hearted people, but I also ain't a lot no of black tough people yet. living and drug addiction and poverty. And so, what are we about to see? I'm going to do a little burnout. Oh! Okay. I see you in your, in your truck. Up. Next, Logan wanted to take us to the place where he had grown up that is now abandoned except oh, for okay. one tenant. It was just abandoned. It wasn't dirty. Well, it is dirty, but he here. don't live there. The bus. Yeah. Are people actually living here right now? There's one person living. Why do they tear this place down? Oh, dude, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like, look at the way that this is. There's three more levels below this, and they literally just keep getting worse and worse and worse as you go down. That's what I lived at right there. Uh, it feels like it's about to collapse. Oh, bro, this is the best level. It's dirty in here. You guys might want to be careful walking around, but like, I, I know who lives in this apartment, so I know there's no like, needles in here. Nothing. Why is it just left like this? Because it's just like, they just they're just trash. Like, they're... Okay, so they know it's dirty. They're, there's nothing. They were, they were never even good when I was a kid, you know what I mean? But, you know, when you're a kid, you don't care about stuff like that. These places are $200 a month. That's my truth. That's my, my brother's sister. Really? Yeah. Wait, your brother's sister? My dad is with her mom. Is she in the hard building? She's in the building right here. And she's the only one that's here? Only one left because the roof fell on her, so she got with her for free. The roof? None of this used to be like this when I was a kid. Man. This chair right here, you see right here, man. This should be illegal. I don't know. I don't know. What is she just banging? She's just like banging around up there. Yeah, working on something. Run! I'm not we investigating. People were squatting in the abandoned places across the street. So we interviewed one of those guys. This is what he said. Tell me about where we're at right now. Fort oh. County, Kentucky. How would you describe it? Uh, it's a small town. You don't have much in it, but you know it goes off a lot. What's all that pain going on? Been working on this place for a long time. They're trying to rehab it. No, man. It looks like it's beyond hope. It is beyond hope. Do people live in that place right there? That place, yeah, that place is all right. What do you do for money around here? Well, there's nothing much to do around here. So, how much do you survive off? So he don't have no money. I can make it off a hundred dollars a month. This is one of the poorest counties in America. It is. It's the poorest county. In That's the whole one state. take of gas, and I'm not gonna lie, gas has only been lasting me a week. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars is a full tank, but that's close. No, it could be one of the richest in this whole in this place, man. But you don't offer nothing. So, if you were mayor, what would you do? I'd be putting my jobs and opportunities. Everybody's leaving the county because they don't offer nothing. The state's got the money to put it in here. They just don't want it here. This place has been hit real hard by the opioid epidemic, by meth, by a lot of different drugs. How have you seen that impact the community? Yeah, people get sick and not feeling good, and it just spread all over the place. Did you grow up in this town? Mm -hmm. How have you seen it change over time? Yeah. The people that's in it. Do you have any hope that this town's gonna get better? No, I really do. I hope you look like does. Forrest Gump. What percent of people you he think here are unemployed? How about seven tenths? What percent of people in this town do you think are on some sort of uh, addicted to some sort of drug? About seven tenths, I say. So the church going people are dopies. Well, folks, you've got an inside look at Macquarie County, the poorest county in America. I think there's always hope. There's always something that can rejuvenate or regrow. Any final thoughts, fellas? Oh man, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's been a wicked ass day. It's been a good day, man. Hell yeah. All right, well, yee yee, and have a good day, yee -yee. guys. Peace. <laughs> Pick that crop, boy. Pick them crops. Come on, let's get them uh, corn. Uh, plant that corn and stuff. Is that what they say? I don't know. Man, I don't know, man. Like, okay. So a few points. Point number one, the drug and stuff. I feel like the people that do the drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like your priorities are messed up. If you got kids and you paying for drugs over school supplies, something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. So I can't sympathize with you for that one because you're doing drugs and then once you do them, you get hooked. Why, why would you even do that if you know it's bad? Like, I don't care like how low down you get. If you got kids and stuff, drugs, out of the window. You missed your time with them. Two, 
the dirty stuff. I didn't know the house was abandoned. I didn't know the house was abandoned. So that's dirty. That, I mean, that, that that's reasonable dirty, right? But the trash like around the house and stuff, I don't know if it's, that's like a country thing, but we don't do that in the city. So, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me. But I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this situation, man. Like, how y'all feel about the whole white privilege question that he was talking about? I feel like that the I kind of, like, I think I kind of, like, can sympathize with the financial one. But the social justice one, nah. Nah, nah, nah. It's definitely privileged there. But I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And y'all know what to do. If y'all do the video too much, the comment, like button, subscribe, and subscribe, all but just guess what? <gasps> Yippee! We gone.